Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tidarium Hangar. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about Kenner Robocop figures from 1988. This toy line is actually pretty cool. It's sort of based off of a cartoon, but I feel like it's halfway based off of the original movies. We're going to talk about this, the toy line, some of the media references coming up. So this toy line was way bigger than I actually thought. This is just a card bag from one of them. And it's so big. There's so much more to it than I thought there was. And the card bag actually shows some of the unproduced items. Starting off, we gotta talk about the Kenner Robocop figure. He only was a five POA figure. And if you look at his backpack here, he actually has some uh, cat firing gimmick. And the thing is you have to have old school caps because the new ones are too thin to scroll through his uh, backpack there but he does come with a gun and the gun does actually come off and clip uh in a hole on the opposite side yeah a lot of this stuff didn't work it's supposed to go on the other side clips on this side and it doesn't go inside the leg and so there's a lot of issues but let's compare this to some modern stuff, uh, if you really want to consider uh, some of the stuff modern, let's get into it. Okay, so looking at this, we have NECA's RoboCop right here. Now this is really nice. And one of the things about it, people are going after the NECA RoboCop like crazy. It's gone through the roof on secondary market because it's not in the stores right now. But there's nothing pushing the media. There's no media. There's nothing pushing the brand. And yet... Robocop from NECA is going through the roof. Robocop itself, this is the Kenner one, it looks okay, has a cap firing mechanism, but Robocop still is wildly popular. Today, there's thousands of items on eBay and they sell pretty well. And here's, this is Toy Island, they came out in the 90s and they made, I think 91 through 95 or 90 through 95. And they made a couple of few different series. I might get into Toy Island later, but it's still pretty cool. This guy does have a removable. And you can kind of see the face sculpt, sort of. Reminds you of the movie. Reminds you of the movie even more than the TV show. And the gun can go in either hand. And it's kind of hard to put in there. It's kind of carved out to uh, fit the hand. And you can put it in either hand but it's a strange kind of situation the way it's it's designed to fit in there but it holds okay i guess uh most people put it in the right hand so that's worn out and the left hand is a little better so next up we're going to talk about wheels wilson and uh you're going to see some of this vac metalized plating chipping off on these figures he's got this kind of giant missile launcher with him and he has handcuffs that clip into his side you can pull them off and then you can clip them on to whatever bad guy or I guess maybe himself but it's kind of a cool accessory he's the only one that comes with handcuffs and it clips into his side like this I like that everything's inclusive it works pretty cool so next on the list is Birdman Barnes and this guy's kind of like a yellowish orangish dude and he's got back metalized chest some detail on the face and the head but he comes with this gun and uh, I feel like this figure is almost brand new and it kind of shoots this grappling hook and it has uh, a big old uh, rope connected to it so it can go pretty far but I just want to kind of keep it all together myself but still it's kind of cool it's interesting he has police written down his leg we're gonna see something similar to that in another couple of figures coming up but kind of a cool interesting figure mostly it's his gun he does have rat a tat tat cat firing mechanism on his back is ace jackson and it's this figure comes with some giant like tank cannon uh piece that comes with him 
And this one's not missing so easily, but the little, uh, I guess a kind of a baton he has that clips in his side is missing. I'm missing that, and I've seen a few, and I didn't want to pay the price. It's a weird looking figure. I don't know anything about the character. Kind of cool. He's got some back metalized plating right here, here, and down on his leg, he's got some paint. So he does look kind of cool, but kind of boring. don't remember me do you next on the list we have ann lewis which is taken directly from the movie by the way but doesn't look directly from the movie what's this weird crazy mask she's wearing there's her face and it's kind of similar to the actress not real close kenner never really got real close to the actors and the actress and of course she has the um i think all of them up to this point still have this uh, mechanism back here and let's put her face mask back on, which it's kind of hard to find her complete loose and uh, new. You, you might want to get her new so she doesn't have any chips or scrapes. Some scrapes and chips to mine. Okay, cool figure. She works. I'm Ann Lewis. Sadly, Toy Island comes along and makes a Magdalene figure that looks exactly like Ann Lewis. So much better than Ann Lewis from Ann Lewis in... Kenner and so for that I really started getting more into Toy Island because their stuff looked more like the movie and I was excited for it. So we have Sergeant Reed. Sergeant Reed was actually in the movie and they say he's in the cartoon I guess. I watched uh, some episodes but I didn't really get the whole gist of the cartoon. This He has police written down the side here. He's got back metal eyes right here. He's got a different kind of helmet than Ann Lewis and there is Sergeant Reed and and he comes with a gun and this is really his only weapon or accessory and it plugs in right there does his thing but uh they could have made this figure so much cooler if they were just based it straight off the movie so that's it for series one good guys next we're going to get into series two good guys then we're going to do uh bad guys good uh series one to two but here is Torpedo Thompson. The figure looks okay. Uh, they did away with the uh, cap firing mechanism in Series 2. And you go to just kind of a basic uh, 5 POA figure. Still has police written down here. Kind of an interesting look to him. Here's a package one. And here's the thing. I don't really go after like every part piece if I have one sealed. I don't mind and plus with this bulkiness of this it doesn't display well so I'm like I don't really care if it's if I got one uh, complete or not loose if I got one sealed loose but there's his weapon and it just plugs in there and shoots uh, no really big deal and I actually have a loose one of the next guy so we'll take a look at that so this is claw Calhoun and it's kind of a ridiculous kind of idea for a toy from Kenner so if there's any way that I could think that this figure would be impossible to stand, I would I would just say, to make it impossible to stand, put this gigantic launching cannon on it, and let's launch this thing. Oh, yo, it's weird, too. You have to, like, pull it back and let it go to make it launch. So this is a whole weird gimmick they, they concocted here. It's not working, either. Maybe... So we have Robocop Night Fighter, and the thing about this figure is he glows in the dark. And I had to buy a couple of few to get one complete. And this guy does look pretty cool. He's got RBC on the side of his arm. Um, it doesn't really match the original Robocop so much. So it's like it takes Robocop to a bit of a different level. Still carries over the gun. is exact same mold. It plugs into the leg in the wrong place. But this arm piece is new, and uh, this, this whole arm is new let's see how well he glows in the dark can i pull this glow in the dark off man it doesn't show up as well on camera but i can really see it myself uh i wish the camera would pick it up better than that but it shows up but not as well as it shows up in person it really looks good in person but it is what it is it was originally a Mellaway figure. Kenner likes Mellaway figures, kind of like their superpowers Clark Kent and all that fun stuff. But uh, they did release it in a card back. 
I think the card back is actually more common because the people that wanted him to have them open uh, pre-ordered them or mailed in for them and then the card back one probably did not sell well because all the people that wanted it already uh, sent in for it. So cool that they're still available to buy on a card back. You now have 15 seconds to comply. Let's get into looking at the villains and this is Chainsaw. Now I want to say something real quick about the villains. The villains do not look like anything in the cartoon. I think each episode of the cartoon had different villains in it. So these almost resemble the movie, but not exactly. But he comes with this chainsaw accessory. And this is series one of the bad guy. And he comes with this gun that clips in to the side with the same way Robocop does. And he has a little bit of detailing on him, but he still has this whole cap firing gimmick and again the modern caps don't work they do work if you go out of the way to line them up exactly they don't work as they're supposed to because they're not as wide modern caps are thinner anyway this guy looks interesting crazy his name is chainsaw next on the list is dr mac namara now this guy actually is a really cool bad guy but after he was done with robocop he went on to nip tuck to open his own plastic surgery practice and he made a lot of good money but until that he had to pay his way through medical school it's all made up by the way he uh, being a villain this like i don't know what's this an automatic uh it looks really cool though it's a really interesting weapon and then he has another like a communication device that clips to his side and he's like uh bad guy leader uh i got robocop do i destroy him or do i let him destroy me Tell me the truth. He does have the back firing mechanism. And it's really good to see that these work. Some of them aren't as smooth as this. And I like that purple. But a uh, pretty cool looking dude. Uh, I like putting him on the hog. So next up we have Nitro. I think Nitro is a weird, wacky, kind of a punk rocker looking dude. Which is, is kind of cool. It's so uh, 80s, this guy. And he's got these yellow pants and uh, a vest. And... He wants to wear a vest because he really works out. That's like 4,000 sit-ups a day to keep that APAC going for what looks like a 73-year-old guy. But anyway, he's got uh, some purple kind of an electroshock therapy thing that he brings to his first dates. And, and he's got this piece on the sign that's like a mobile quad missile launcher. And he can pull that off out of his tab and uh, hold it and launch missiles, but uh, he does have his rat-a-tat-tat cap firing mechanism, and he has his mohawk ponytail. He didn't have the hairspray to make it stick up today. That's why it looks like that. So next up, we have this guy called Headhunter, and again, I'm gonna reiterate, don't really know them specifically from the cartoon. I watched through the majority of the cartoons, and I watched the movie, and this dude does not match up to anything, but Kenner decided, let's make this guy uh, a complete new mold and not remodel it from anything. He's got this gun. Now, the gun is reused later on in, I think, the Terminator series or maybe the Alien series. One of those two, they reuse this gun and make it gray. And then he has this, <laughs> I want to say it's uh, an Aladdin's uh, genie uh, lamp. But it's weird. It's really weird. I mean, of course, you can hold it and stuff, but uh, it's supposed to be some sort of a weapon. But I don't know exactly what it is. It's crazy, but it fits on him. He holds it all, and it does he does the whole rat to tat tat method. He's got a tat right here of uh, you know, it's like a Punisher kind of a look. So that was series one of the bad guys. We're getting into series two of the bad guys, and then we're exactly two series two figures of the bad guys. This is Scorcher, and I have a theory, well, I have a collecting uh, philosophy. If I have it complete on the card, then I don't care if my loose one's complete. And this guy here really fits it. He's a wacky, crazy, like, like Joker. He has a backpack uh, to do some crazy nonsense with his backpack. Anyway, uh, put his helmet back on and let's look at the carded one. And the carded one shows you what he really does he has a launcher and some fiery mechanism and stuff uh scorcher 
I don't need all his components because he stands on the shelf by himself better like this than with all this mess that's not going to hold him up very well or look good on display. But you got to have it if you want to complete. Next up, we have Toxic Waster and in the same situation as Scorcher. Dude is uh, kind of like uh, Lex Luthor with his bald head and just kind of a crazy evil look. Put his helmet back on. Let's look at the card back. Now, this one here... Uh, Look at all this stuff. Like he has this gigantic backpack. I guess it clips in or clips on somehow. And a toxic waste barrel, which is great. You can put that in Batman. Uh, there's this box art. Some dude bought this for three bucks and sold this to me for like 30. Okay, so next up we have a Gatlin Blaster Robocop, which I should have shown off in the Good Guys series too. But I didn't have a loose one at all. And I thought, well, uh, it's the same scenario. A loose one, people were asking the same as a, I found a boxed one. And I thought, why bother buying a loose one? That's going to be all played with and battered. And guess what? This won't display well. It, it's it's going to take up a lot of space and look goofy on a shelf. So here's my boxed one, my package one. Let's see the back. Shows you everything, including what's not actually coming let's get into the Kenner vehicles. I'm going to start with the Robo Command, which is weird. Like, it's a tank. It's like a one-person, little mobile personal tank. And it comes with one, two different types of top guns and one, two different types of bottom guns. And uh, the thing about all, all of these vehicles is this vacuumized chrome piece. It's awesome. It looks good. You can see Robocop's head through there. You see some like uh, red and blue kind of stuff going on. And from the back, you see the tank treads. And it's it's interesting. But I made a big mistake buying these. Uh, I actually have a couple. And I did not realize until after I bought a couple trying to complete this, complete this thing that it has a special Robocop with it that you remove his arms. And he's kind of like a goldish looking robocop you remove his arms and every one of these components come off and clip onto his arms his shoulder pieces so i have a standard robocop because you know i've got a bunch of them they're just like a dime a dozen and i just stuck him in there but if you buy this make sure you get the figure to make the rest of it worth it your move creep Next on the agenda is the robo cycle and you're going to notice that i have a breakdown of all these I've seen except for sealed, you know, like 20 bucks or less, this is the best one I've found for like 20 bucks. The rest are like 70 sealed. It's crazy. I've seen them opened and they look like this if they're open. So you got to get a sealed one. He has a kickstand that kind of moves back and then folds back out so you can stand it up with a kickstand, which is good. And then this uh, gun piece here, I thought it launched or something or moved, but I don't, I don't know. I haven't spent much time with this at all. I just have one uh, when I normally have like multiples of things and I don't care to get another because every one I see is all jacked up looking on the on the blue chrome and the blue chrome is one of the coolest parts of this toy line. All right, so let's get into Robo One and Robo One is is the Robocop vehicle that most people identify with. I identify with Robo One as my Robocop vehicle and it's gonna be in my display, but there's a lot of Robocop vehicles, by the way. This thing is cool. It is awesome. It has the stickers on the side. So when you see them, they don't have the stickers. It doesn't look as cool. It has these guns, which don't move at all, but they kind of clip in place. And it has a rocket firing gun up top, which boom, it fires a rocket. And you have the police symbols and then a plug-in right here. And then the canopy itself lifts up to reveal two figures and, I, I, Again, I want every vehicle on display to have a figure in it in both spots and thought she was complete But I guess I I guess I messed up and uh, he should pretty much have his gun in there, too But looks really good. Uh, this blue back metalized plating is awesome. You got headlights and a, a police thing in the front You've got tail lights in the back and I think I try to keep this one original I have a few of these I've done a restoration on the copter so here's the robocopter and I've done a restoration video on this and 
I want to do some more restoration videos, but I've kind of been uh, buying up more lots of this. I need to get the little hook for this guy. My restored one has everything complete. This is the one that is completely original. I never bleached it or restored it. I just literally bought it and put it together. And uh, the restoration one is a whole different story and everything's moving around. I'm showing you the future of the video. I like the stickers on the side and I need to go through it and make sure I've got 100% of the stickers on it. But I think everything on this one's original. But I like this one and you have a figure in the front, figure in the back. You got a, a nice little helicopter thing going on. And the 80s was ultra helicopter heavy. So last good guy vehicle in this is the Robo Jailer. And I'm trying to keep it all in perspective here, uh, but we have a satellite on the top here, which is kind of a little messed up. You have this big giant gun and it's gonna have two smaller guns on the back. Here it is with the guns on and they can kind of like position and reposition. And then you have this back door that comes down. Okay, I did that off camera because it seemed very dangerous, but you can store a couple of few figures back there if you wanted to, it works. You'll never catch this copper. We work for Richard. Well, yeah, you hear us? We work for Richard. Yes. President of OCP. But yes, one thing about this whole thing is that you can actually store a ton of your figures, almost your whole Kenner collection in this thing. So I always learn stuff when I do reviews and from now on, I'm just gonna leave these guns on and just turn them inside when I store it on the shelf. And uh, I was so worried when I get something new that I'm gonna break it. But I do like something else about this and we already showed this effect, but you can put figures in there and because it's handy, I'm just gonna put a Toy Island figure in there, but you can store a whole bunch of figures in here. And I think there are, no, there's no foot pegs. So you just kind of like throw them in the, in the inner space. That's kind of weird and it's kind of strange. So when it comes to the front driver's seat, a lot of these have broken i've seen like five of these have the exact same breakage right here in this spot but uh it slides out you can slide it off or just slide it forward a little bit i do like the blue chrome on it up here and i have in here some uh toy island figures because i I've, i really put all my display towards kenner so the toy island takes a huge back seat so I'm like, where am, what am I gonna do with these guys? So I throw them in vehicles and stuff. And yes, people could argue that Toy Island actually is the better of the two toy lines and uh, that there's some merit to that, but we do have this sticker here that's starting to come off. I can put that back on, but kind of a really cool, this might be my favorite vehicle just because it can store everything and it's bigger and it's cooler than I thought, but the helicopter, I think it still wins. And the bad guys have next to nothing in this. We have the Ed 260 or, um, you know, I would still say it's Ed 209. It looks exactly like Ed 209 and it doesn't do much. In fact, uh, these pieces, I thought they went up and down, but I guess they don't. That's all, that's all just uh, molded in to look like it. But this thing is, is actually kind of hard to find. Uh, people want like 50 or more for it. Uh, I didn't pay that for these. Actually, I bought two in a set. And if you buy like multiples of things, people usually give you a bit of a price break. Uh, so I don't mind buying multiples. I think I have a few of these, but it's cool. And it might even be better than Super 7 uh, for the, the reaction line. But I think the Super 7 one for the bigger one is better. Uh, is that no NECA NECA has a really awesome one this guy here has his hog and I think it's actually called the hog so I throw this guy on it you can put another figure on the back seat really kind of cool two figures fit on it and um, with the lack of knee articulation he looks goofy anyway there is also a cool kind of function where you can fire this uh, let's try that again I'm always afraid I'm gonna lose these missiles but the thing's huge boom this thing is stable even with or without the uh, windshield. And I think that if you're collecting this, you might want to get two or three of these hogs. They're very cheap. So I hope you really enjoyed this look at the Kenner Robocop toy line. This is amazing that 
Robocop still has such a massive interest so many years, so many decades later. This toy line itself is not that expensive. They're getting the the individual weapons and parts and pieces. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this toy line, the future of Robocop, what you think of Robocop, and what you think of this video. Like, subscribe to Dear Hair. Ow. Drop the gun, you are under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. You better back up, pal! At Security Concepts, we're projecting the end of crime in old Detroit within 40 days. Drop it! Dead or alive, you are coming with me. Come quietly or there will be trouble. You have the right to remain silent. The guys last week. We're getting creamed out there, Reed. Book him. He's a cop killer. Stay out of trouble.